Half standing forward bend. Ardha Uttanasana. Stand erect with legs parallel and raise your arms upward. While exhaling, bend forward from the hip joints with a straight, elongated back and knees slightly bent. Bring your hands straight in front of you and parallel to the floor. The neck is in neutral position, both ears are between the arms, and your gaze is directed downward, not forward. The erector spinae are the main stabilizers in this position, maintaining the natural position of the vertebral column. The intermediate and inferior trapezius adduct and pull the shoulder blades downwards, abducts the shoulders from the ears. The hamstring muscles are stretched and simultaneously statically active for stabilizing the body. The deltoid muscle stabilizes the arm and the rhomboids adduct the shoulder blades and help the trapezius. The quadriceps femoris are lightly active in stabilizing the legs. The gluteus maximus extends the hips and thus prevents the body from falling down. Here is a common problem. Shortening of the hamstring muscles will pull the inferior part of the pelvis downwards and will lead to posterior pelvic tilt and to lumbar flexion. So how can we fix it? Solution 1. We should flex our knees. Flexed knees enables anterior pelvic tilt and a neutral position of the vertebral column. Solution 2. Rest your hands on the blocks. Attaching the shoulders to the ears due to lack of awareness or due to weakness in the trapezius and the rhomboids that adduct the shoulder blades is another common problem that we need to be aware of. How can we fix it? Solution 1. Learn and emphasize abduction of the shoulders from the ears. Pulling the shoulders downward releases tension in the neck and helps in extension of the thoracic vertebral column. Solution 2. Preparatory exercise for strengthening the lower and middle trapezius and rhomboids. Solution 3. Place the arms next to the body. Common problem number three, rigidity in the shoulder girdle because of a kyphotic position. The result is an inability to raise the arms up to the line of the back. Solution one, preparatory exercises and adaptations. Elongation, maintaining the normal curve in the cervical lordosis and raising the arms only as far as the range allows. Solution two, Increasing flexibility of the pectoralis minor muscles will enable the shoulder blades to draw near to each other and thus enable normal movement in the shoulder girdle.